Hello everyone and welcome back to Match Day. Once again, yeah, at Craig and Cottage taking on Fulham in a match where if Newcastle United wins today, we go top of the Premier League tier, which means next week at St James's Park, we are taking on Manchester City in a first versus second match. How mental is that, by the way? Considering the fact that Newcastle haven't played well this season, but yet they've still picked up the points. And going into this game, it is a bit of a concern because Isak has been reported to be out of this match. Whether that happens or not is another question. But this is a tricky team for them. I remember coming here last season, Newcastle snatched at 1-0, but Fulham honestly battered us for a good hour. And I'm expecting to be a similar match there where it's going to be a nervy experience and Newcastle are going to get pushed to their limits. It happened at Wolves. We were able to pull one out. Can we do it again today? It's, a, it's an interesting one. But of course, I'm down here for the next few days because we are taking on Wimbledon on the Tuesday night. So... There's no point of going home, staying down here for a couple more days. Overnight stay vlog will come out in the morning. I'm just hoping I'm in a good mood. Uh, if you were to tell me now would I take a draw, I, I might say yes. But it depends on the circumstances. We've got, we've got to be trying to get three points today, no, no doubt about it. So let's get inside now. Let's soak in the atmosphere. And let's hopefully get ourselves top of the league. <laughs> Eddie Howe sure does love that poker face. Isak is with the squad. I'm assuming he's going to start now that he's actually travelled. Thank Christ, that's probably the thing I'm going to be saying from now. I would have been panicking if we didn't have Isak today. Hopefully, he's 100%. We play well. And then we can rest them against Wimbledon. Put a steward in. Ideally, give him his first game for Newcastle. Man City next week. Big week, so it started off with a bang today. We can now finally go inside the stadium as well. It took that long. Completely fine, there's nothing wrong with that goal. Yeah. Literally, like less than less than 60 seconds from where he's going. Yep. Shit. Made it. Simple touch inside the box and scores back from us. Like, well, it just went from bad to worse. There. I, I, I thought it was coming. Fulham had a couple of big chances before the second goal. And I mean, this is the worst season we've had for this season. It's an actual shite. So, so bad. That's laughable how bad we've been. Yeah. What is this, man? I'm actually getting annoyed how bad this has been. What? Set the fucking keeper, man! Nice. That's exactly what we should have done, yeah. It's just too much too much messing around with the ball, just hit some shot at him. Oh hey. How how have you got a counter-attack from oh, our shooting there? I never know. Oh, uh, Mike double check that back. How on earth have they got a chance there off our shot? It's, it's unbelievable that. Oh, that's gonna be the last kick and a half and uh, I have a lot to say about that. That is absolutely disgusting from us. I have no point to say about that half. I actually think it's quite similar to our way match here last season, but the only difference this time being is that Fulham actually took their chance. This time last year they battered us here as well, but we 
can't sell it, man. It was just so, so bad in that game. Like, it's been unbelievable how bad we've been. The only good part I can even say is that the fact we're only 2 0 yes. down. We can't call us out of this game. You can't sell us shit how we look this season. Well, we're happy to get the results. But here again today, tax has been poor. Defending's been poor, but for the second goal, what on earth was that mistake? guy? He's terrible for any Premier League goalkeeper to be making. However, he was the reason why we actually won last week, so I'm not going to bash him too much. But I mean, we'll, we'll score four minutes in, and then 60 seconds later, an oh, offside goal gets given, and we can't see. Like, it's catch has just been so bad in the counter attacking. One of them just, just came at us with their attacking players, and I think that, I think it should be three or four. Oh, man, this big one will be that good. No many are good enough for us. We're going to give us a chance to come back in the second half. I'm telling you now, we, we play out in the second half, we're going to be so angry after the game. Right, well, it's definitely game on now. Come on, boys. Come on. Straight away, formation change has worked. Yes, yes come on. It's like 10 minutes to check that, man. Come on. That's just game on. Why takes so fucking long? I, I know. Right. Come on, Come on. Oh, I'm just here, you are. Oh, it's okay. Right, we've got into this game. Oh, that's unlucky. I've been so well there, Gordon. It's quality play, buddy. It's has to do better with the show. Why, Joe? I don't think it's a foul. Well done, Joe. Two big chances there. Come on. Oh, it's free. We're just getting the goal out of the end there. Uh, oh, someone screwed with her. Not that I thought we were going to equalise anyway, but uh, game over now. Definition of punish, punish big time there. Time, bottom three, Newcastle day one. Before we talk about Newcastle and that second half display, because I thought it was much better, let's ask the obvious question. Across the entire 90 minutes, did Newcastle United deserve to win that game? No. Did Newcastle United deserve to draw that game? For me, no. I thought Fulham, across the full 90, deserved to win that game, just due to the fact of how good Fulham were in the first half. Newcastle had a good, I thought a good 25, 30 minutes spell in the second half, scored straight away. I like think Eddie Howe's tactics actually bringing an extra attacker on works. But if you miss chances, you will be punished. Newcastle missed some obvious chances. The biggest of the bunch being Shaw. Wins interception from a goal kick. He pots up wide for about 10 yards. I know he's just on the half, but he has to score that. Gordon done quite well, a bit of individual brilliance. I thought he had to score his chance. You guys have had a few big chances in there and Fulham punished us right at the end. Poor pass from Bruno. It was quite sad seeing our Brazilian come up at the end. Actually, 
I mean, visually about three or four times, put his hand up to the fans and go, my bad. I didn't think it was his fault there. I mean, yes, Bruno made a mistake and conceded because of it, but Fulham was still winning 2 1 at that point. It was the 92nd minute, and as much as a, I don't want to be negative, I, I didn't think Newcastle were going to score a second goal at that point because Fulham did start to get a bit more into the game, and Newcastle just seemed to have lost a bit of the spark towards the end. Um, I mean, the second half wasn't actually that bad, but the, just the first half was just shocking. The first half was an absolute joke. It was so bad. The, honestly, the wor worst first half I've seen in a long time from Newcastle. And it's so weird because the second half, that 30 minutes period, I actually think it's probably the best Newcastle's played so far this season. So how can you have such a contrasting game? Because it's a game of two halves, yes, but how can you beat your worst all season long? First half and it'll be your best all season long. It's like, no, it's not sustainable. You you can't play like that every single week and expect to win games. You cannot have any first half like that and expect to get results from any matches. You can't sort of thought we're fortunate going into this game, having been unbeaten all season so far. How we were still unbeaten coming to this match, I will never know. But fun and punished us today. First time this season, a good team that takes chances turned up against us, took their chances straight away, and Newcastle were in the in the mud. We were in serious trouble, and Newcastle were fortunate to only go in a hard time 2 0 down. We then scored straight away, which put pressure on Fulham, which turned the game in Newcastle's favour, but it just wasn't enough. Damage was done, and Fulham, for me, were the better all round team across the 90 minutes. So, in Newcastle's point of view, you have to ask questions because we played bad again this season. We haven't looked good once this season. We've had spells in games again today, spells in matches where we look good and it's a bit of individual brilliance that ends up getting Newcastle wins or gets us a, a point of Bournemouth. But based on that, we deserved it. I mean, we deserved to lose there. We've got Man City next week, a team which, as mental as it may sound now, I actually think we've got Man City a good time next week because I think it will probably kick Newcastle and kick the players at the backside. Once we get a team of that standard up against, Newcastle know they can't play poor. So I actually think, even though it may be a bad result for Newcastle next week, I actually think, long term, that City game is going to hopefully just wake us up a bit because we just need woken up. Newcastle just haven't got going this season. And I think, again, as, as performers today, when I look at them, uh, it's like before the assist didn't do much. Uh, Gordon had had one bit of individual brilliance in the game, but again, I think our attacking players just aren't doing that much. And uh, yeah, it was, it's a weird one because um, I thought it was about a second half, but my God, first half was a joke, absolute joke today. I, I don't even get me started, it was so bad. But yeah, I'm staying down for Wimbledon, thankfully. So I, I've got a couple of nights here, thank God. If I came down for that one game, I'd be absolutely fuming. But the fact I'm here for the Wimbledon game, got to, got to get through that game. I don't care how we play. Just get past Wimbledon and get in the next round of the cup. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on that absolute pile of crap. I, we weren't always bad today. But Wimbledon again on Tuesday. Come on.